Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming, and today we're gonna learn all about this new amazing game, Dragon Champion. Dragon Champion is a fantasy team turn based RPG. Uh, well, tactical too, obviously, like any turn-based RPG, guys, and it is a very, very, very good game. But before we actually get into the game and the detail, details of the game, guys, if you are new players or you are below level 15, well, level 15 or below, and uh, you want to get about $10 worth of goodies, it's pretty simple, guys. Go in settings. Go and use promo code and type this promo code STARCO. Very, very basic, very simple, guys. You use that and boom, look at this. You will get 10, um, 10 shards. I don't know, actually, I don't know how we call them uh, in this case. <laughs> Just, uh, you know, 10 tokens per character, I guess. You're gonna get 500 draconian which is actually the paid currency in the game you're gonna get 250 thousand gold which is gonna give you a huge head start 500 camping energy which is pretty awesome and 100 auto battle tickets uh, it's just amazing guys all this stuff that we're giving to you guys just by using the promo code starco so definitely worth getting it actually will give you this character for free guys you can actually summon him and have the clan extra clan characters for when you actually start your clan uh campaign which is gonna be be giving you a huge advantage on people who actually don't use the code so uh this game guys you're gonna have a uh mix of campaign mission which actually three different campaigns you have you have the dawn of the order campaign uh which is the clan campaign uh i think which one <laughs> uh hold on we gotta check the characters here the order camping my bad so you get the order camping here uh the first camping the second camping is a clan camping and the third camping is a camping you can use all the characters and you actually get to form runes in that camping and um you know bow camping start at a certain level pretty much how you're gonna start each camping is very simple you're gonna follow the mission here you can see the mission here 153 mission that will give you so much goodies guys to start the game makes the process of the starting the game so much easier if we go in here and it's actually a lot faster than than you could think it took me two days on my real account because that's not my account because i want to show you all that stuff but it took me it took me two days to actually complete the 153 mission guys it's how easy this is so you can see here you're gonna get a lot of character shards you're gonna get a lot of drago coins a lot of gear keys to actually open chests which is actually pretty awesome and you go down you can see all those characters key drago coins there is a freaking lot of them man there is a lot of them you can see we're up to three different characters so far and you can see here look 50 dragon coins actually not all because later on we get even more and we are up to characters number four in there so pretty much you're gonna get as characters number five you're gonna get a lot of characters through that process you're gonna pretty much get five characters from uh, completing all the missions you're gonna get thousands of dragon coins maybe not thousand but at, around a thousand i think uh you're gonna get a bunch of gold you can see here like the last mission a hundred dragon coins which actually gives you such a good boost in the game so 153 mission guys it will take you between two and five days to actually complete those missions and actually get you started properly in the game which is in my opinion pretty amazing but that doesn't stop there you can see we got mission we got camping they are tournaments that start at level 30 that you need to have specific uh, class action enter them so it's more stuff along the way uh, you do have events you get plenty of events there uh, events that are uh, available to, to 
to your account when you start that will give you characters and stuff like that that has no timer then there are other events with the timers that change every few days or so which is actually pretty awesome in my opinion uh you're gonna have challenges uh, every day you have specific challenges to come play to get uh free goodies pretty much it doesn't even cost uh camping you just have a limited amount of entries for those thing and you just go through that uh available available at level 20 guilds with guild raid and if you actually join a guild at level 20 yes you can start raiding at level 20 if the guilds you actually join are doing newbies uh, raid obviously and then the more you progress in your guild the more uh eye level the guild uh, will open the raids and it's pretty much become the pve end game to be honest then at level 25 you get arena so yes pvp is definitely part of this game well it's pvp is player versus ai still because it's not live pvp but it is very challenging it is a lot of fun and we can get a lot of good goodies from there too then at level 35 we have a tower a tower pretty much is a tower that you progress per stages per floor to actually earn a bunch of stuff too uh, and um, that's another end game content that is right there and coming soon we're gonna have a world championship pvp world championship so that is coming to the game too which is pretty amazing so that's pretty much what the game include uh, we did not show any gameplay i guess we're gonna be jumping into that when i switch account in a minute but uh, overall guys i've been playing turn-based rpg for a very 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 long time i started in the whole days with final fantasy 8 so i've been playing <laughs> turn-based rpg for a very very long time guys and i can tell you this is one of the best turn-based turn rpg i ever played uh in mobile game this is definitely the most free-to-play friendly turn-based rpg i had the opportunity to play and if you're a fan of uh hard work like world of warcraft warcraft and all that you know that whole fantasy team that old old style fantasy team you're gonna love the graphic in the games definitely personally if i could give a rating to this game i'll probably give it a rating of 8.5 on 10 the uh there's you know it's not a perfect game this is a, a game in the progress of uh, obviously improving and you're gonna see guys if you try it you gonna love it so with that said guys the next part of this video is pretty simple we're gonna switch account we're gonna go on my account i'm actually working on and we're gonna go in and experience some gameplay also one thing i forgot to mention guys which is actually a, a brand new thing that I never seen happen in any other game, guys. Let's go in settings here. Let's go in extra. Let's go in time settings. What the hell is that, right? Two times a year, you can change your reset time the time that your daily event will reset the time that your arena rewards will come in will come in and the time that your free energy will come in you get free energy three times a day by the way guys so if you want your game to reset at 6 p.m your time all you gotta do is go in here it did that select your time it's actually based on your time there and boom you actually get when the actual daily reset will happen which is outstanding i was so freaking hype when i actually saw that guys it's it's a new thing that i've never, I never seen in any other games and i think that is the best thing i ever seen in the game so with that said guys let's switch gameplay let's jump right into my main account so guys this is my main account you can see i've been playing for about a week and i'm already up to level 32 and it's probably gonna get up once i do my daily gameplay 
uh, probably to level 34. I've been getting about, since I hit level 30, about two level a day, which is actually pretty, pretty, pretty easy, guys. All you gotta do is your daily stuff, and it goes so freaking fast. So talking about the event I was talking about earlier, that's what I'm talking about here. Uh, you have legendary event, which is actually a personal event here. Uh, basically, it's there until you complete it. So if it takes you six months to complete it, it takes you six months and the event does not disappear until it's over. Then you have, you know, events with a timer like this one practice time you know leveling uh my characters actually have uh, 20 hours left this one just started today it lasts one day i'm gonna be able to farm some runes with this event you can see there are a bunch of events that are scheduled to start soon and we do have this event that you can see that was a personal event that actually got to complete that is right there so i just wanted to show that uh, real fast then we got challenges and uh, offers if you have special offers if you want to spend your money which is you don't have to but if you want to support the developers so they can actually make better updates better content and all that definitely uh, totally worth to go uh, with those actually uh, special offer and those special offer are amazing like their special offer for $1.99 you get a three star character what other turn-based RPG will give you a three-star characters for one dollar ninety-nine? I've never seen that my whole life, so definitely very good. Also, you have a bunch of chests here, uh, daily chests you can actually open. I think you get one chest every four hours. If you don't open it after eight hours, you get maximum two chests that you can have uh, available at the same time. So we're gonna open uh, this one here. Obviously, uh, I gotta get my timer uh, along the way. So we open one. You can see my next one is going to be available in another hour uh so you get a lot of goodies from those chests and you do have other chests obviously like expedition chests uh common chest golden chest for gold if you run out of gold you know always good uh premium chest actually one of those premium chests actually got a uh, 80 rare arrow stone from that that was actually pretty awesome and by the way guys talking about chests in one week from now I will be doing a chess opening video to see uh, opening premium chess here. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be opening a lot of them, but I'm gonna try to open a bunch to see what kind of RNG is behind those premium chess so you guys can actually have a better idea of how the RNG is in this game, definitely. So um, I wanted to talk about that. What else I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah. I wanted to show some gameplay, so I'm gonna go get my ass kick in uh, arena probably i don't know am i actually win this one so let's go in there we're gonna show some gameplay this is my team i got leadership on this big fella then a healer on the right here a second tank in the back and then we got two damage dealer pretty much that is my current setup for uh, arena and we're gonna see if we can actually get a uh, a win here we're gonna set the speed to one and we're gonna play manually i want you guys to actually get the feeling of our the characters play and all that so uh let's go we're gonna put berserker stance berserk stance on this guy and uh, the other guy summoned something that's annoying it counts it is annoying you get the healer you can see on speed number one the gameplay is very slow if you're the kind of person that i enjoy slow gameplay this is actually perfect for you and you can see in the background you know like this the sign here actually moved it's really really fluid the way the characters are moving while you're doing that and you have like a little chicken in the background if you pay attention and all that stuff which is actually pretty amazing but here we're gonna speed this up because we only five minutes to do arena fight so <laughs> i don't want to waste my time when there's something taunting uh, taunting you don't have a choice you have to attack it so let's try to uh, get it out as soon as humanly possible here obviously then we're gonna be focusing on the tank because the tank is gonna be bothering a lot us a lot so let's get rid of that tank as soon as possible here uh healing yeah we're ready for some healing so let's try to speed up here because 
I did not pay attention to the timer at the start, and I might actually run out of time in this in this uh, in this fight here if I don't speed up things a little bit. Uh, okay, let's buff the crits. So I'm gonna be focusing here. Uh, no offense if I don't talk as much, guys, but I really want you guys to show to see uh, what's going on here. So we got another uh, healing ability, but uh, we kind of got screwed here. We did not get damage, so basically we did not get healing pretty much. That's what happened. So this guy, regeneration. Yeah, I might actually run out of time on this fight. I don't know. It's a pretty rough one with the tanks, the summons. Uh, it's a pretty rough one, but the summons stop uh, taunting, so it's not so bad. Honestly, once you kill the, the tank, it goes very fast, but you have to be able to uh, kill him fast enough. There's a, you know, the strategy pretty much when you set your defense here is pretty simple. You want to make sure you have so much survival ability that uh, your team cannot be destroyed. That's pretty much the objective here. Uh, in this game in arena which is actually uh, the objective of pretty much any uh, turn base well those kind of game on mobile it's it's always about uh you know surviving long enough to actually get a win so like i said I, i'm probably gonna lose here i said it at the start and it looks like that's gonna be like that just because i cannot get through uh those things yeah they're very 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 annoying oh my god Oh, we never know. We could get lucky, but one of my tank is about to die, so it is not good. So, this guy is dead. There we got some damage. My healer is dead, so that's really uh, not a good thing here. But we do have good uh, damage all over the place. So it's not so bad. We just lost another one. So it's not optimal, obviously. We lost a second one. So yeah, I'm gonna lose here. That was not the best fight, but that was about to show you guys gameplay. That was not about to show uh, my skills. That's actually the first time I lose on the manual play here, uh, to be honest. So that's interesting, at least in the arena, because usually uh, I come up with a big, a good strategy, but this guy, the Trump guard guy, it's is really hard to kill it is really really hard to kill and if you actually get the summons or another tank along the way to actually help him it gets very 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 difficult to actually get through him so it's actually one of the guy when you pick a team you kind of want to pick a team that does not have strong guard in there so you don't get to deal with that but that's more advanced gameplay guys i just wanted to show you uh, a little bit of gameplay so you guys can actually have the feeling of the game and um if we actually go let's just go on a challenge for example here uh for uh auto play i still gotta beat this one but uh let's go with this one here so you guys can actually have the feeling of the auto play a little bit i haven't set my team here properly yet so this this two tanks two damage one healer still works good here hopefully right, let's not lose again let's not lose again <laughs> Okay, so let's sit down on the play. You can see the auto play is pretty fast. You have four level of speed like a talk carrier, and uh, the fourth speed is actually pretty damn fast. Uh, and uh, you do have a multi wave of characters. You can have so many characters you gotta face. I think the highest I've seen so far was something like 15, if I'm not mistaken, which can make the fight be very, very very long but you can see there's a little bit of buff a little bit of debuff which is awesome it's not overwhelming you know it's not like 20 10 10 icons per characters of buff or debuff it's like two three above two three debuff at the same time at least at the point i am in the game so uh it's um it's not overwhelming i think it's pretty decent uh yeah i really like the gameplay you can see here the artwork is pretty good in my opinion uh i do really like it those pandas are cute man <laughs> panda or human uh that's pretty much what you get to see in the elves obviously we have an elf here uh we have goblins so it's 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 like the old mmo feeling to be honest the old warcraft 
uh, Wall of Warcraft feeling. You can actually see it in this game, which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much an example of a challenge. Once you actually beat it to three stars, which means you did not get killed like we're about to do, we're going to be able to actually do it on auto battle using the, those auto battle tickets that we get more than we actually need in the game at least. I think so. I know I did not run out of them yet, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure that we get more than we actually need. And you can see, first time clear, you always get five dragon coins, so you do get a lot of dragon coins along the way in this game, definitely. And see, once you finally clear it on uh, at three stars, you can just do auto battle, pick a m the amount of fights you want to do, and press the button, and you are over. And you can do the same with the missions which is pretty pretty awesome and we do have uh, those events that i'm not going to be participating in this video but uh, you do have so much stuff to do guys which is awesome this the camping is huge also guys i forgot to mention something the dialogues are awesome you don't hear of that a lot in mobile games but the dialogues are freaking awesome it's funny it's entertaining so it's very very awesome like when you actually do the camping it's very awesome and you can see the camping are actually quite long like i'm level 30 and i got so much uh, more to do in the camping you can see i only got the 147 star 270 132 and 288 and 36 on 144 so i don't expect to be able to finish any of those campaigns until i'm at least level 50 maybe 60 and i do believe the la the max level is actually level 80 so anyway guys i do not want to make this video longer than it already has there's so much stuff to talk about this game guys but this is the first video we're gonna be making at least three video about this game. Next video we're gonna actually be going to be doing a chess opening video. We're gonna save as much Drago coins as we can here to uh, not, not buy but save <laughs> uh, so we can actually open as many chests as possible and see what RNG will have in store for us. So guys if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe to the channel again. Uh, you can play this game on Android or iOS. The links are in the description of this video. Don't forget that if you are level 15 or less, uh, use the promo code STARCO so you can actually get $10 worth of goodies. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think of this game, if it's a game for you or not. Let me know what you think, guys. And if you have any uh, feedback, suggestion, write it down we can actually get that back to uh, the developers because they're a small business that love to listen to the actual player base so definitely totally worth uh, getting back to them with the feedbacks if we get any guys so anyway thank you for watching hopefully you had a good time with this video and on that guys i will see you next time